We're back with another all-time team build here in MLB The Show 20. Of course, this is the series where we go through all 30 franchises in the MLB, build a team in Diamond Dynasty with the best and most influential players available. The previous video was the Chicago White Sox, so we're going to jump over to the National League, and we're going to go to the Milwaukee Brewers. The Milwaukee Brewers have been around since the late 60s, early 70s. They have a career 483 winning percentage with seven postseason appearances and one World World Series appearance. That World Series appearance came all the way back in 1982, where they unfortunately lost that series in seven games to the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, the Brewers have made the postseason in the last three seasons. They made it in 2018, 19, and 20. Even though in 2020, they were kind of one of the teams that benefited from the expanded playoffs, they finished fourth in the division. A lot of people will probably tell you they didn't deserve to make the playoffs, but hey, man, they were just played the cards they were given. And at the end of the day, they made it. And this is my version of the all-time Milwaukee Brewers here in MLB The Show 20. So you definitely have to be creative with this team and move players around in secondary positions to make sure everything fits. Uh, so we got Jonathan Lucroy here behind the dish. He's a Brewers guard, so this works out perfectly. You got Paul Molitor at first base with Ryan Braun at third base. Now, we haven't gotten a better Ryan Braun yet this year, at least to my knowledge, so unfortunately I gotta use the one that's only good against lefties. He's only got 70... Uh, contact and power against righties. He's right in that mid 70s range So he's not gonna be too good But he's the only Ryan Braun card we have and you know Ryan Braun has to be on the all-time Brewers The middle infield is of course gonna consist of Robin Yount and then at second base We've got Travis Shaw over in the outfield. It's a little bit of an interesting outfield I've actually got Eric Thames playing over in left field because he fits on this team But Paul Molitor only plays first base on that card So I got to move Thames over to the outfield over in right field. Of course, you've got Christian Yelich MVP card with the Brewers here from 2018 and then rounding it out we got Lorenzo Cain over in center on the bench you've got Yasmani Grandal Gary Sheffield Dave Parker Dante Bichette and Mike Moustakis for the pitching the guy we're going to be starting in this video is going to be 97 Zach Grinke to fill out the rotation you've got Corbin Burns Don Sutton Brandon Woodruff and Chase Anderson and the bullpen on this team actually looks really solid you got two lefties with Josh Hader and Dan Plesak and the righties are all pretty solid. You got Devin Williams, the 99 overall finest. You got Eric Gagne, Raleigh, Trevor Hoffman, and Brandon Kinsler. So I'm actually not too worried about the pitching going into this game. The uniforms for this team, we're going with the pinstripes with the Brewers logo across the chest. It was either these ones or the little powder blue ones, and I decided to go with these ones. I kind of like the look of the pinstripes, so we're going with these. I am going to be playing another YouTuber in this video. I'm going to be playing my man Atrin. If you guys don't know Atrin, he's an MLB The Show YouTuber. He's a big Brewers fan. He makes good content. He also streams the game. So make sure to go check out Atrin on YouTube and Twitch. He will be my opponent today. I'm not sure what team he's using, but hopefully it'll be a good game. He is. He's using the God Squad. Okay, so 99 James Paxton versus Grinky, and he's got the God Squad. This should be tough. Got him to two strikes. Going to try to hit this. Ch well, that changeup was not supposed to be there. Fastball high and in. Yes, let's go. That wasn't really where I wanted it, but it still turned out to be an effective pitch. All right, it's a full count. I'm going to try to just get him a... Dude, I cannot believe how bad I'm missing on two strikes to start this game. Go into a third straight slider here. And we're going to go ahead and get out of the inning. All right, so that leadoff hit did hurt us, but I got to start locating better, man. I was missing way too much on two strikes there. Yow. Is that going to be a line out? No. There we go. That one's not getting caught. That should be a double for Paul Molitor. Never mind. Nice. Let's go, dude. Ball four. We got our first base runner. Oh, that's a great pitch. I was literally just about to say Atrin needs to use the cutter more. And right on cue, I got a great cutter. I'm going to try a fastball high and into Corey Seager. Dude, once again, I, I, I it's a strikeout, but it's such a lucky strikeout that it doesn't even feel good. Nice. That was a better pitch, but still not great. Nice. Quick inning. Do we even have 20 pitches? We have 24 pitches with Grinky through two innings. That's that's solid. Oh, that's going to be... Okay, it's not going to be a, a double, but it's going to be a leadoff hit. We'll take that cane. Thank you. Question is, do I bunt with Grinky or do I let him swing it? I mean, he does have 41 contact and 31 power. I'm letting Grinky swing it. 
Oh my god. That's actually pretty good for a pitcher swing. What am I doing, bro? What am I doing? I'm throwing. Oh man, started off with a nice swing from Kane and then I just completely failed, dude. I gotta start getting some offense together. Gonna get into the second time through the order for Grinky. Luckily, he pitched well for the first time, but my, my man's getting no run support right now. Oh, let's go, Braun. Strong throw, boom. Oh my god, is Eric Thames gonna make this play? Please tell me he does. Oh, oh man, I was really hoping for it. Okay. He shouldn't get to third on that. Come on, I gotta get this to two strikes. I wanna throw the curveball. I haven't thrown the curveball yet. No, he's gonna strike first. I knew I should have walked him right there, man. That was just a dumb decision to pitch to Corey Seager. What am I doing? Finally, I get to throw the curveball. 0 oh, 2 to Machado. Here we go. Got him. Oh, man, I wish I would have done that a batter earlier. All right, top six. This is going to be the last inning for Grinky. I know he's pitching well. He's only allowed one run and I think like three hits through five, but uh, his spot's coming up in the bottom of the inning and I need any sort of offense I can. So, so I just need three more outs out of him. Beautiful. That curveball, you have to use it sparingly. You, you can't be effective if you use it every batter. So that's why I'm being very selective when I use it. Let's go, dude. The changeup low got him, too. Atrin is swing happy right now. This could be a really good pitch if I execute it. Yes! Struck out the side. Zach Greinke, six innings, only one earned run. Really, that one run was my fault. I should have walked the dude, so it is what it is. All right, um, I guess I'll go with Sheffield right here. I need the best bat I can at the moment. Ooh, good changeup. That was actually a really good pitch. I'm lucky that that got through. Robin Yount. Oh my god, is that getting out of here? Let's go, baby. We're in the lead. The dude that leads the Brewers in all-time war gives us the lead in the all-time Brewers video. How fitting is that? Oh, I'm under that one. Yikes. Yelly? Ah, oh, I was off anyway. Nice. Let's go, dude. That's the second low changeup I've gotten a hit on this inning. Wow, good pitch. Okay, we got the lead. That's all that matters. Going into the final three frames. Full count. Let's go. If we get a base runner for uh, Shaw. Maybe, maybe we don't even need a base runner. Maybe this is a big fly for Ryan Braun against a righty. I think it will be. Oh my god, yo, Soto almost robbed that. Dude, I was just hoping to get on base for Travis Shaw. I was not expecting Braun to go yard right there. We got Josh Hader in the eighth inning. He's got two lefties coming up. Is he going to pinch hit for Soto? I was about to say. Okay, hey, good thing that Ryan Braun home run happened. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a tie game. Come on, we're still in the lead here. That's a dot. Yep, yeah, that was a great fastball there. Good stuff. No, 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 come on Thames, rob this. He really went yard with both of the lefties in this inning when I brought in Josh Hader. You gotta be kidding me, man. Out of all the cards that I blow it with, it's Hader. But he's bringing in Andrew Miller. I got Christian Yelich leading off. Dude, I gotta, I, I really, really wanna get the lead right here. What? Why am I hitting so bad right now? And then I'm like late on that and I'm swinging at a low sinker. Like, oh, dude, I'm so rattled. Okay, two out walk and it sets up Ryan Braun. I can't imagine he sticks with Andrew Miller here. No way. You're not. You are not pitching Andrew Miller to Braun. Nice. Two, two out walks in a row. Oh, my God. Three straight two out walks. Come on, Kane. Clutch up. Henley Jansen. What is... What are my options here? Dude, I'm gonna go to Yasmani Grandal right here. And then I'll put Bichette in center field. Because I, I, I really need to try to get this right here. Unbelievable pitch by Atron right there, dude. Oh my god. Josh Hader has allowed three home runs, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, we got the strikeout. Make the throw. 
All right, down one. We got our last three outs to go. Eric Gagne, Mike Moustakis, the last position player we have on the bench here. Four-pitch walk to start the inning. Hold up. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own. Oh, my God. That is literally the worst thing that could have happened right there. you got to be careful because this pitcher... And then it just froze me. That's a frustrating loss. Hey, GG to Atron, though, man. Dude, way to battle. I, out of all the pitchers on this squad to blow it, Josh Hader would have been one of the last guys I expected. So, good good stuff for Atron for battling like that. But, dude, I had so many chances to do stuff offensively, and I couldn't just get anything going. I'm pretty sure I hit into three double plays this game, which results in six outs. So, I basically handed over two innings. And I had guys on base, and I couldn't drive them in. That... Uh, Yasmani Grandal one in the eighth was oh, man that was such a killer to the momentum so hopefully I bounce back in the next one uh, it'll be an American League team hopefully we can get a dub there but guys hopefully you enjoyed the video regardless of the outcome appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new go subscribe to Atron go show them love on YouTube and Twitch appreciate you guys watching I'll see you in the next one peace